Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to set up Webhook inside WordPress. So Webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to deliver the data to other applications as an event happens. So here let's assume that I am a blogger and my objective is that whenever I'm going to post a new post on my WordPress account, then I want to add the post details in a Google Sheet. So in order to do that, I need to set up a webhook inside WordPress so that the published post details could be sent to Pabli Connect and then it could be added in my Google Sheets. So now to set up the connection over here, I will go to my trigger window and here I'm going to search for WordPress as my trigger application. Here it is. And the trigger event will be new post published. So it will trigger whenever a new post will be published in my WordPress account. So here as I've selected my trigger application and the trigger event, so a webhook URL is given. So read the instructions given below over here carefully because this webhook URL will act as a bridge to connect your WordPress account with Pabli Connect. So in order to do that, I'm going to take you to my WordPress account. So this here is my WordPress dashboard. And now in order to set up the connection over here, I need to go to plugins and I need to install and activate the WP webhooks. So now in order to do that, you just have to go to this add new plugin option and you just have to search for WP webhooks and you have to install it. So as I've already installed that plugin, so here I'm going to show you that plugin in my installed plugins. So here in installed plugins, you can see that I have already installed this plugin that is of WP Webhooks. So if you also want to install this plugin, you just have to go to plugins. You have to go to add new plugin and you just have to search for WP Webhooks and you can install the plugin. So as I've already installed it, so here I will go to settings and in settings, I will go to WP Webhooks. So here under WP Webhooks, I'm going to click on this send data because I want to send the data to Pabli Connect. And over here, you can see that there are various type of events that are given. So as per your requirement, you can select the event and send the data to Pabli Connect. So as my objective is that whenever new post will be published on my WordPress account, then I want to send the details to Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to select the event as post created. So here you can see that it says this webhook fires after a new post will be created. So I'm going to add a webhook URL over here. And now over here in the webhook name, I'm going to give the webhook a name as Pabli Connect Webhook. So this here is the name of the webhook. And now over here, I need to mention the webhook URL. So I've got the webhook URL in Pabli Connect. I'm going to copy it. And over here in this field, I'm going to paste it. And now I'm going to click on add for post create. So here you can see that it says the webhook URL has been added. So after adding the webhook URL, we need to configure it as well. So in order to do that over here, I will go to this three dots and over here, I will go to settings. And now here in settings, I will go to select the trigger. So over here, the trigger will be of post and now I need to select the status. So I need to select the status at which the data should be sent to Pabli Connect. So that will be of published. So once I've selected that, now I need to click on save settings. So it says settings saved and the configuration is also done successfully. So as I've set up the webhook inside WordPress, now I'm going back to Pabli Connect. And over here, you can see that it is waiting for webhook response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in Pabli Connect. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a new post on my WordPress account and I'm going to publish it. So here under post, I'm going to create a new post. So I'm going to click on add new post. And here, let's say that I'm going to give the title as ideal work environment. And now I'm going to add the content for the same. So over here, I've mentioned the title and I've mentioned the content as well. So now I'm going to add a featured image as well. So over here, I will go to upload files and now I'm going to select the file. So this here is the file. So here you can see that I have added a featured image as well. So now I'm going to publish this post. So over here, you can see it says post published. So I'm going to view the post. So this here is the post. You can see that here is the image. Here is the title and here is the content of this post. So that means the post which I've just published would have been captured in Public Connect. So I'm going to take you to Public Connect. And over here, yes, you can see that I have received a response. And over here in the response, here are the details. 
So this here is the link of the image and over here is the post link. So let me show you the link as well. So this here is the image link which I'm showing you first. So here you can see the image and now over here the link which is given over here is for the post. So I'm going to open this link as well. So over here you can see that this link has directed me to the WordPress post which I've just created. So over here in Pabli Connect that means the details of the post which I've just created is successfully captured. Here you can see the post title that was ideal work environment and scrolling down here you can see the date and time as well and this here is the content of the post. So that means over here in Pabli Connect the post details is successfully captured from WordPress. So the first objective of this automation is set up that means now whenever a new post will be published on my WordPress account then automatically the details of that post will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So as I've got the post details in Pabli Connect, now I wish to add the post details in my Google Sheets. So in order to do that over here in this action window, I'm going to search for Google Sheets as my action application. And the action event will be to add a new row. So now in order to establish a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect, you just have to click on connect. And to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with your Google account. So here I'm going to click on allow as this is a secure access. So here you can see that Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So this here is the Google Sheet that I've already created by the name of WordPress post. It consists of three columns that is of post title, content and the image link and it only consists of one sheet. So in this Google Sheet, I want to add the WordPress post details. So in order to do that here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to select my spreadsheet as WordPress post. And after selecting the spreadsheet, you can see that it has detected the sheet. So as this Google Sheet consists only of one sheet, so it is selected over here. So now moving to these details of post title, content and the image link. So here to mention the details in these fields, I'm going to use a method that is called as mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous steps. So as I've received the response from WordPress, so over here in these fields, I'm going to map it from that response. So now I'm going to map the post content and now here I'm going to map the image link. So this here is the image link and I've mapped it. So as I've mapped the details in these fields, this method of mapping is important so that every time you're going to receive a new response, so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So in order to avoid that problem, we map the information. So as I've mapped the details over here, I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that I have received the response and this here is a positive response. That means the details of the post would have been added in my Google Sheets. So here in my Google Sheet, you can see that the details of the new post is successfully added. Here you can see the post title, here is the content and this here is the image link. So that means now whenever a new post will be published on my WordPress account, then automatically the post details will be added in my Google Sheets. So the webhook which we have set up inside WordPress is completely fine. That is why we have got the response over here in Pabli Connect and then the post details are added in Google Sheets. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.